Yo, what's up? So, you wanted ThinkPads? You got ThinkPads. There they are. Uh, so in this video, I am going to talk about a questions I get all the time, actually, because a lot of people will tell me, okay, I'm falling for the ThinkPad meme. People always are always talking about how sturdy they are, how reliable they are. I want to get one myself, but I have no clue which one to get. I get this email all the time. I get, the, get it as a comment all the time. So in this video, I'm going to tell you my experiences with different ThinkPads and the kind of stuff you want to look out for, or, you know, the kind of stuff that I guess, uh, or like what model specifically is the best for you. So I have four ThinkPads, all of them are different models, um, which might sound like a lie, you might be like, oh geez, you're really obsessed, but like, uh, given how much I paid for all of these, I mean, I paid, you know, what, a third of the price of a MacBook for all four of these together. Uh, actually, there's another one I bought, but I had given it to a friend, so there's actually another one, but still, it probably is no more than 500 bucks altogether. Um, so these things, you buy them used, they're all pretty cheap. Um, so if you're watching this video, you, you might already know why you want to get a ThinkPad. They're extremely sturdy, they're business laptops that are made to last. This model right here, right, X60, these things have been around for 11 years. Like, they came out in the Bush administration, uh, which it ends up, that's a long time ago now. Um, so anyway, let me, but I want to talk about specifically which kind of models you want to get because people always ask me that. Um, so I'll go ahead and introduce you to the ones I have here. So this one here is the T420. Um, so there are two main series of uh, ThinkPads that people usually talk about. There's the T series and there's an, the X series. So this is my only uh, of the T series. Now the T series, they're the, um, I want to say 16 inch, uh, I forget what exact inch inch. In, in, inch, 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 in, inchage. I forget the exact inchage, um, but these things are the sort of mid-sized. Uh, so the T series are sort of if you want a laptop that's not ultra portable, it's just sort of a normal laptop. That's the series to look at. Um, the other three here are the X series, um, and I, obviously by the fact I have three of these, I actually prefer the X series. Um, they're they're a little bit more portable, but um, they don't really come at a huge like disadvantage in terms of processing power. They're pretty much the same as the T's, just a little smaller. Of course, they're going to have less screen resolution or whatever. So you, these are the main series of ThinkPads, T's and X's. There are actually a lot of other ones, but pretty much all the ones worth getting are either T or X's. There are also W's, uh, which are um, you know, desktop replacements, these things are enormous. You know, you have a couple other ones, but these are pretty much the ones you'll, you'll see. Um, so, when you're thinking about what kind of ThinkPad to get, the important thing to remember is that ThinkPads have been getting bad as years have progressed, right? So, when IBM used to make these things, this is, you know, one of the classic, this X60 right here, this is one of the um, classic IBM ThinkPads, it even has the IBM logo. Um, these are like tangibly a better quality than the later ones. Um, and one of the main changes that happened, uh, which hasn't, you know, didn't occur when any of these laptops were made, but, um, you know, eventually when Lenovo ba bought the ThinkPad brand, they switched from this kind of the classic keyboard here to a chiclet keyboard that you might be, you know, the kind of stuff you have on Macs or things, uh, you know, more nowadays, uh, which I don't know why, uh, because the, those kind of uh, excuse me uh, keyboards are just terrible for like actual use when you're actually getting in there and like you know you know typing all day or typing for a long period. Those things hurt. These kind of keyboards they're very tactile, and it's one of the reasons that people like uh, the classic ThinkPads. So the reason I mention that is all the models I have here. Uh, this is the X60, this is the X200, this is the X220, and that again is the T420. Um, all of the models here have this classic design. Uh, and these two models here, the X220 and the T420, are the last ones of their series that had that. After that, when you got to the X230, uh, those had the, the chiclet-like keyboards. So a lot of people will say these are the last good ThinkPads. Um, so those are the ones, if, you, if that's your only concern, I want like an old, you know, a good classic uh, ThinkPad quality. The X2, uh, X220 or the T420 are the, the sort of chosen, uh, you know, designs. Now the other thing about um, these two is in addition to being some of the last ones with the actual ThinkPad uh, keyboard, uh, they're 
one of the first series that has i5 and i7 processors. Now that can be good and bad. For most people that's going to be good because you don't really care about anything else. You want to have a faster computer. Uh, but it's bad in the sense that, in case you don't know, um, you know, i5s, i7s, that's when the Intel management engine got to a point where it's hard to get rid of. Uh, it is basically spyware. It's a backdoor on your computer. Basically every computer has them. Um, but the nice thing about the earlier ThinkPads before this, like the X200 and X60, is the Intel management engine was different. Uh, it, it was encrypted in a different way. I forget the specifics. I don't know at all. Uh, but the long story short is these computers, you can put a uh, totally free BIOS on it, like Libreboot, um, and you can totally get rid of the Intel management engine and any backdoors. So, of course, you'll see here I actually have the Libreboot screen pulled up for, for my um, X200. Um, and I have Libreboot on both of these machines. Um, so getting it on the X200, the, the X200, now, well, I should put it this way. If you want a totally free machine, if that's your priority, you don't really care as much about processing power or anything like that, you might want to go with the X200 because the X200, it, it has an Intel Core 2 Duo by default. It's a lot uh, faster than uh, things like this, the X60. Uh, it is the last Libre bootable computer. Uh, but I'm saying that with an asterisk because right now, uh, a couple companies, a couple, you know, individual tinkerers have sort of been uh, finding, the, finding the final fix for, you know, later Intel management engines, how to get rid of them, how to replace them with totally free BIOSes. So it might be in a couple months you can get Libreboot on the X220 and the T420 or get rid of the management engine or something like that. So that you might want to ch double check if that's the case whenever you're watching this video. Um, but that said, the X200 I can vouch for. It's a great computer and uh, it for the longest time, it, well I'll go ahead and say the, the computers I use as sort of daily drivers or either the X220 or the X200. Right now I had some firmware problems with the X200, so I'm using the X220 uh, for the time being, but I'll probably switch back. I prefer the, to use the X200 just because it's all free software. Um, and the only other caveat about that is that um, if you want to install Libreboot on the X200, you do, have to have, you do have to install it with a Raspberry Pi or a BeagleBone Black or some kind of external programmer. Uh, you have to actually open up the motherboard and, you know, do the whole thing with the, the Flash ROM and all this stuff. So it's a little more difficult of a process. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you might have seen a video I put up a couple months ago on Libreboot'ing the X60, which is a, a much easier process. You can just do it in the, the uh, software. Um, so that's another consideration. So the reason I have all these different computers is actually because they all sort of serve different niches in here. Well, one of the reasons I have them is they're so cheap. I mean, just to, to give you this thing costs about 30 bucks. That's a little on the cheap end. I always get them when they're very cheap. I don't get the medium prices. I wait for prices to come that are really a steal. Uh, but I got the X60 for around 300 bucks. Um, I or 300 bucks, 30 bucks, not 300. Uh, the X200, I want to say I got that around 200 dollars, which is a little much. But it came with Libreboot installed, uh, so I didn't have to worry about. It, and that was worth it for me. Um, the X220 back there, I got that for less than 100 bucks. That was like 90 dollars, I want to say. And then this one here. Uh, the T420, I got that for maybe a little over a hundred, I forget exactly. I think the, the actual price of it was like 200 something, but I had uh, sort of a coupon. Um, so, yeah, again, I've spent like less than $500, or I should do the math in my head. I, you know, I can't do math real time, but that's less than 500 bucks, whatever. Um, so yeah, that, this is just um, informational. And so I should say, I have all of these X-Series laptops. So you have the early one, which you can install Libreboot on just uh, using the software. If you want a T-Series, there is also the T60, um, which is the equivalent in the T-Series. Uh, if you just want something like this that you can Libreboot, but you know you want a larger laptop with a bigger screen, you can get that. And also the equivalent of the X200 is the T T400, yeah, T400. Uh, which again, you can Libreboot with a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's the last of the Intel Core 2 Duos, doesn't have the later management engine. Um, so really, if I had those other two laptops, there's sort of a symmetry to them in that like the series is, series is, uh, uh, you know, sort of have all the same properties. They're just a different size. Um, so anyway, this is 
pretty much all the basic information I would recommend if you want to check out a ThinkPad. Um, look on eBay, don't be, you know, every once in a while I get a comment from someone who says, oh, people said ThinkPads are cheap, but I looked them up on Lenovo's websites and they're thousands of dollars. Don't get a new one. Don't get one. Uh, I don't recommend uh, getting one after the X220 or T420 because these things are perfect quality. They're still great. There's still so many of them on the market. Uh, despite the fact that they're, they are, you know, what, like six, seven years old or something like that, they're still kicking. And if you want a modern processor, if you want like the newest i7, uh, you can still install them on one of those uh, and they work great. But then again, all these computers work great if you have, you know, something like a solid state drive or something else like that. Um, you don't even need that. But uh, anyway, so this has just been an informational. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'm going to do more in depth reviews of this computer and that one, which I haven't talked about on my channel before, but I do have, and they are worth talking about. So check those out if you want. So anyway, see you guys next time.